Hi there. I'm Tamara. Copeland. Samaripa. And I'm here today to tell you about Socrative. The website is www.socrative.com. And today I'm going to show you three parts. The first part is going to be how to sign up for an account. The second part is going to be how to get in and create a quiz. And the third part is going to be what it looks like for students to go in and take a quiz. Now I want to show you what it looks like when students take a quiz. It's just like when you go in to the website Socrative.com and you're going to click student login and you're going to see the room number. Do you see that up there? You need to pass that out to your students. You can see that at the top of my screen, right? 207 TCS. That's my room number. So students need to type in that room number. They'll type that in and join the room. When they enter the room, then they need to type their name, unless you've disabled that option. But they type their name and click, and then they'll see the question pop up. And then you can type your answer and continue on. Click on Submit. And if a box pops up that's purple, that means the teacher will correct it. So next, you click on Next Question, and you select your answer. If it pops up red, that means you've gotten it wrong. The next question is multiple choice, so you select your answer and click Submit. And if it pops up green, that means that you got the answer correct. And click on OK. You see that it's telling me to wait for the teacher. Let me show you what it looks like for the teacher. You see the students listed there. There's no names. If there's no answer there, it means I need to grade it. If it's red, it means it was wrong, and if it's green, it was right. When you finish the quiz, click Finish. Now you can see that you've clicked Finished, and it's going to ask you if you want to print a report. You can email it to yourself. You can download it. You can save it to Google Drive. Or you can see it as a spreadsheet on your screen or you can save it for later. The option to see the full Excel spreadsheet is the first one. The second one is to print individual answer sheets. The third is to be able to see a PDF of each question and how students performed. You can choose whichever option you like and click Submit. Now I'm going to show you two other types of quizzes and what they look like for students. Student Paste with Navigation. This is what it looks like. It's identical to the one before. Students type their name and then they enter. Notice as they type an answer, they can also see the other questions that are available in the column to the side. And students can jump to question number two and answer that or jump to number three. Now there's no response feedback. Students answer and they can go from question number three to question number two and change their answer. They select their answers, and they can jump back and forth between questions throughout the test. 
Understand, please, that during this test, there is no feedback to the students because they can jump between questions. If they find out that they have an answer wrong, they could jump back to a different question and change their answer. They can continue changing answers until they're done. When students are finished taking their quiz, they need to click on Finish Quiz. It's going to ask you if you're sure that you want to finish the activity. It's going to confirm that you've completed all the questions. When students are done with that, then they'll click Submit. And next you'll see that the teacher is waiting, and I'm going to go back to my screen and show you what students have answered. If there's no grade there, it means that I have to grade it. If it's green, it's right. If it's red, it's wrong. And when it's complete, then I click Finish, and I can decide what type of report I want to do, whether it's to download or however. Now I'm going to show you the last type of quiz, the third type. It's Teacher Paste, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. Now you can see that it looks different for Teacher Paste. You can see the question shows up and I can display it on the board. I can sign it, I can speak the question, whatever I choose to do. Also, you can see the students' names in a list as far as who is taking the quiz. Suppose you wanted to add another student. Let me show you what that looks like. Students type their answer. Purple means that the teacher will correct it. Now you can see, as the teacher, that you have one student who has answered the questions, one out of one. You can see the students' names and show their answers. Remember, keep in mind it's important if you're displaying this on an overhead projector you're going to be able to see names and answers. It's important to hide that information if you plan to display it. Now let's add one more student and see what that looks like. So you can see from the teacher view, students will begin taking their tests and typing their answers then that student will show up in the list for the teacher to see. So if you'll notice, the students will see waiting for the teacher. That means that me, as the teacher, I need to go in and click Next, and that will display the next question for the students. You can display the question and sign it or explain it to the students, and then they can submit their answers. Then the student will see that he or she got the answer wrong. And then a second student got the right answer. So you can see that two students have answered the question. And now you can discuss it. You notice that 50% are right and 50% are wrong. So you can have a discussion about the questions without seeing student names. So the students are waiting for me, and they just have to sit and wait until I'm ready to click Next to move on to the next question. So now the third question will come up, and again, when it comes up, I can sign it, and students can either go ahead and take their quiz, or they can wait for me. The teacher can show the answer options. She can show that and discuss it with the students. 
You can have a discussion about why you would choose A or why you would choose B. When you're completely finished with the test, make sure to click Finish. You can print the report just like before, or you can see what it looks like on screen. If you view it on screen, you will see a grid with student names listed, as well as their answer choices. You can print it for later or save it, whatever you choose.